Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, I will cover how you can import and export Postman collections and environment. So before we look into that, let's talk about why you need to do that in the first place. Well, when you're working with Postman, you typically add a bunch of requests related to a project, which you can then group them into collections. And now let's imagine if a new team member joins your project, and she needs access to all those requests. You will have to give her all of this request information one by one, which will take really long time. Instead, you can simply export your collection, which she can then import into Postman and will have access to all these requests and all the related information. Now, ideally, if you have a team's license with Postman, you can just add her to the team and call it a day, but not all companies have that, so this is a good alternative to work with. All right, now that we're clear on the use case, let's take a look at how we can do this. So let's imagine you have a collection. In my case, I have this collection called Trello, which I built it in my Postman API testing series. If you haven't checked that out, make sure to take a look at that if you want to learn how to do Postman API testing. Now, if I want to export this and give it to my new team member, all I have to do is simply come click on this. And then right over here, I see three ellipses. I can click on that and have an option to do export. So I will do export and it will ask you which version you want to export it to and they actually tell you the recommended version which is 2.1 in my case. I will simply click on export and then it's going to ask you where you want to export it and if you want to name the file, I will simply just go with it as it is. All right, so it says my collection has been successfully exported. Now to be honest, that's all there is in terms of exporting the collection. Now what you will do is you will share this collection with your coworker. So let me actually show you what that file looks like. All right, so that collection is basically a JSON information. If you can look over here, it has info related to the project, which is let's say over here, the collection folder. This is boards. You can see that over here, which is showing up as well. It has information related to your entire project. You can see Trello, the description, which is Trello API for testing, as well as the schema related to that particular um, collection. And over here, I can take a look at all the information related to all of these different requests. So this is the file that you're gonna be sharing with your coworker. Now let's imagine you have actually shared this. How will she go ahead and import this into Postman? So let's take a look at that. So I'm gonna cancel this. So here, I'm gonna open up a new workspace. You can imagine the second workspace is going to be the workspace for your coworker. And at the moment, she does not have anything over here. So what she needs to do is click on import button and once you do that, you will have option to import the file and you have different ways of importing it um, and different file format. So the one we did is using JSON. So I'm simply going to drag and drop the file here. The moment you do that, you can see it's actually populating the information, the name, which is the Trello. You have the format, which is 2.1 and you're importing it as collection. Now then click on import button. As soon as that's done, it's going to tell you that the collection has been imported and then just like that, she will have access to all those requests that you worked on, along with the variables and stuff that you have set up, all of those will get exported too. You can see it's properly set up. You have all the parameters. If I actually go to post, I can also take a look at the body as well, because that get actually sent when you were exporting your collection. And even the tests that you wrote will actually get sent too. So she can pretty much go ahead and start running this as it is. So this is really helpful guys, once again, if you are working with Postman collection and you want to share that information with someone else, you don't have to do it one by one. You don't have to share all those requests one by one. Simply export your collection, which then other person can go ahead and import it and will have access to all the things that you have built as part of your collection. All right, the next thing we're gonna look at is how you can export Postman environment. If you're familiar with Postman, you would know along with collection, you also have environment that you can work with. So let's say if you have your environment for your URL, it can be for let's say your test environment, your development environment, production, and so on. At this moment, this new user does not really have any environment. But if I go to the other workspace, which is my workspace, in that case, I can see I have different environments. I have development, I have test, I have this different to do Heroku and local environment as well. Now, if you wanna share this information, all of this environment information with your team member, how would you go ahead and do this? First, let's take a look at what do I have in this environment. So I'm gonna to go to environment here, and I'm gonna click on test. The moment I do that, you can see I have a base URL, and this is the base URL for my Trello.com, and I have initial value as well as the current value. So what's the difference between initial and current? 
well initial is when you will be exporting it this is the default value for your variables now remember the default values are the ones that get exported anything that you have current value this is specific to this particular user or this particular workspace so when you will be exporting this let's say these are secret keys right client id is specific to your particular client your secret key is only yours you don't want to share that with your coworker because they're going to have their own client id and secret key so simply you can just add in the initial value here and that can be anything dummy data that you want to put in and in my case base url is not really a concern so i've put that over here as well now what we need to do is export this so that she can go ahead and directly import this into her workspace so just the way we have done that for our collection i can actually go and click on this three ellipses here I have an export option and then i'm going to click on save all right so let's take a look at the file that we just downloaded so i'm going to open that up now this file over here if you notice carefully you're going to see the id which is the id for that environment you will see the name of the environment and in the values if you notice it's the initial value that they're adding in so in the value you see one two three four five and you have the value over here which is test key so this is basically the default value that you have set up and this is exactly as what you have in the initial value it did not went ahead and actually exported the current value and this is important right because you don't want to share your secret information with the other user now what you can do is you can share this environment with your other user so what they will do is let's say similarly the way we imported our collection they will go to environments and then you have an option to click on import Remember, you have to not do it over here. You have to do it in the environment. So click on import and just the way we did it before, simply drag and drop that file over here. Now you will see you have the environment name. Now this time it is in the format Postman environment and you're importing it as environment as well. I'm going to click on import. The moment I will do that, I can click on test, which is the new environment that just got added. And I have the variable name client ID and the initial value and the current value is the same as the initial value. So they can now just go ahead and update their client ID. Let's say they have registered with their new client and now they can simply add that up over here. And same way for your secret key, let's say if they have got that secret key, they can basically add that in over here as well. And once they do that, they can save the changes and they will have information to that particular environment. So let's say over here, if they're going to this in the base URL, right now it doesn't know what it is. In your environment you can simply change it to test once you do that you can notice here in the base url it just got updated to api.test.fellow.com all right so i hope you understand how import and export environment as well as collections work this is really important it's something that you will be doing often if you do not work with shared workspaces that postman premium feature allows it's a great way to share this information with your coworkers, and they can simply import all of this request Let's say later on you make some changes, you can always share this, the updated information with them again, and they can import it or either delete the previous one or simply replace the existing one. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you'd like me to make content on related to Postman. And if you'd like to support my work, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button on this video. You could also support me by sharing this video with others. And if you have the financial means, you can also show your support using the super thanks button below. That's all for now guys, I will see you in the next one.